Well, this was certainly a surprise. From every other level, it seemed like the formula was going to be a mid-boss at level 5 and an end-boss at level 9. But here comes another mid-boss, ranking in at level 7 of Bowser's Castle. Thankfully, this game isn't made by Alpha Dream, where they'll just stuff in the final level with literally every idea they can think of until it's cluttered to bursting. Wario and Waluigi are yet another duo of bosses that end up being totally outdone at the start by just how leveled up the player's party is by this point. Hell, if I swapped out Peach for Luigi in this level, I would have gotten through it way faster than I did here. The only issue to deal with in this boss fight is that Wario and Waluigi start out on the high ground, making it much harder to get line of sight, especially with the low amount of destructible cover and the few minions thrown in for good measure on your side of the field. I might have died to this fight the first time around due to the number of cards stacked against you. 
It isn't insurmountable by any means, but you really do need to know what you're doing to get some damage in, otherwise you'll end up being pushed around the low ground until Wario turns you into metaphorical Swiss cheese. Waluigi is almost a non-factor in this fight because the player has seen so many of the brute enemies at this point that just fighting another one with more health is laughable when being called a challenging enemy. The main issue with Wario is that he frequently uses the quick draw ability, reducing your mobility even more, and since most of the cover on the lower floor is destructible, it serves as an extra punishment when needing to find a place to not end up full of bullets. It might be even more prudent just to run around on the high ground and try to dig out a niche to fight from there. The problem with that is obvious, the high ground is a tiny area and even from behind cover leaves you incredibly vulnerable to anyone who might be enjoying the damage bonus from the sky. The thing to keep in mind with this fight is to take it slow and to try to find ways to move quickly and figure out how to get into position before Boreo uses his quick draw ability. Waluigi is going to be taken down no matter what. Brutes are just dumb enemies that you need to load damage into with your quick draw abilities and your strategies. It's a decent boss and hey, at least Ubisoft was a company that still wanted to invest in Wario and Waluigi as characters, whereas Nintendo doesn't even know when they left them behind it was so long ago.